Hello, my wonderful friends. How are you today? And today I'm going to talk about a major kitchen reorganization. Yes, I said major. Now, there are sometimes things happen in life and you've got to reorganize the whole kitchen. And what do I mean by that? I am Deb. You are in the office with Deb. I'm your household hacks queen and I am your home consultant. Now today, uh, my, there was a time when my husband was unemployed three times in two years. That was really rough. And I remember when he was unemployed, I really took a bad because he hasn't been unemployed in years, years, years. And, but that's besides the point. Now I remember being in the kitchen and I remember thinking, how am I going to feed the family and pay the bills on unemployment? Of course, I didn't say this to him, but I'm thinking that in my head. It's like, I have got to change everything I'm doing right now. I have to. I don't have a choice. He was so worried about finding a job, and I was worried about feeding the family. So that's when I didn't want to do it. I had no motivation. I guess the motivation was him being unemployed. I had to figure out everything I had in the cabinets, food-wise, uh, appliance-wise, dishes-wise. I had to figure it out. And I had to start putting things, grouping them together, putting them where they belong. Because I wasn't sure what was where, and I knew the budget was limited. And I'm like, okay, so let's see what I have to, I need to figure out what I have to work with. So I went through every cabinet. The dishes, the bakeware, the food items. I took my own little inventory. I wrote down what I needed to buy. Like spices, if I was out of spices, I wrote them down or whatever it was. And I figured, okay, we'll see where I'm at after this. Now, every cabinet got gone through and cleaned out and reorganized. And all the cups here, all the plates here, the soup bowls here, that there, the spices are all organized into, into a nice container. And I put them in a shoe box. They're all in there, the ones that I use all the time. Now, little did I know that this would change everything I've done. Even though I didn't want to do that organization, it changed everything. I was going through sales paper, setting up my dinner to fit the sales paper. I wasn't buying steaks and all that like I was before. That was out. My spices, I was limiting my spices to the main ones and that was it. I knew exactly for that week from that, that grocery list what I was going to have for dinner. I knew where everything was. I was baking more. I wasn't buying cookies and chips and all that. That got put on a hold. If you wanted a snack, go grab a bowl of cereal or something. Or go grab a box of ramen soup at this point because I had a limited budget and I knew I had to work with it, whether I wanted to or not. So I had to eliminate things, especially on the grocery list when it came into the store, depending on the amount of money I had. But because of that major organization, I was still, I was able to cook more efficiently in my kitchen, clean more efficiently in my kitchen. I felt better in my kitchen, even though it was limited budget and he was unemployed. I felt better about my cooking. I felt I was feeding the family. I made it work. I cleaned out the cabinets. Everything was clean, ready to go. I felt so accomplished and so successful. And I did and the motivation to get that done 
<clears throat> was the unemployment. I had no choice. And I put down a list when he was back in the job. This is the appliance I would like to have that I, I could use for this and that that I know I would use all the time. This is all oh, I, I need this or I need these. I'm gonna add this spice or that spice. And I put that away in the drawer and hit it. Okay, that was my, I was gonna manifest that later. But sometimes even though you don't wanna do something and you know, and you know you probably should, sometimes you just gotta force yourself to do it. Like the major kitchen reorganization. You just got to force yourself because the end is so much better for everybody, for the family. The family was still eating. We weren't, we weren't complaining about having enough food because I made it work on the budget. We had some snacks and made, and made homemade, you know, I made cake from scratch and cookies from scratch and it really worked. And even my friends were saying, how are you getting in and out of the kitchen so fast? We're making dinner too, and you're, you're getting done before us and with all that stuff. Because I was organized. I knew where things was. I was able to go to them. I had them efficiently placed where I needed them. And it worked. Now, the kitchen organization turned into be me becoming a household hacks blogger and now a home consultant did i ever think it would come to that no i did not i had no clue but that's what changed everything because once that kitchen got organized other areas in the home started getting organized too for efficiency so i can go out i can go out with my friends after dinner go walk go take a nice walk and walk through the neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful flowers it brings so much more efficiency and so much more productivity to your life and you feel better about yourself you've got a clearer mind and you're able to face the day yes we still had the unemployment in the back of my head but I had a clearer head and I was able to think better. And I was had my positivity cap on. I, was, I wasn't thinking negative anymore. Now, those of you that want to join the decluttering and organizing your bedroom um, pro group program, get in there by Friday because that bonus expires on Friday night. And then, then the price goes up. Just a little warning. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. And let me know if you did a major kitchen reorganization.